Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about how to watch the X-Men franchise in chronological order. Uh, if you don't know, I've done this video maybe two or three times before. I've updated it pretty much uh, almost every time a new X-Men movie has come out because a lot of people are confused with this franchise. And it can be a little confusing with some, uh, you know, going back and forth and, you know, some continuity errors here and there. Unfortunately, some of the continuity errors are going to have to, you know, just turn your eye a bit. But for the most part, there is a way to watch this movie, these series of films in chronological order. And I'm going to give you the rundown on the separate timelines first. There are two timelines and then obviously the full uh, chronological order of it all. So here we go. Starting with timeline number one, which was the original timeline, we start off with X Men First Class. This is the movie that starts it all for both timelines. Uh, it's after this where you get a series of different films uh, throughout. So moving on to the second film is X Men origins wolverine uh beginning wolverine's origin uh on how he got those claws uh those metal claws right inside of him uh you then move on to uh x-men the original film x-men uh that came out in 2000 that brings those group of x-men together um you then and obviously xavier and magneto are, are a lot more older you then move on to X2, X-Men uh, X Men United, uh, then X-Men The Last Stand, which was the, the complete of the original trilogy, uh, but then you also go on to The Wolverine. Uh, so that would end the, the original timeline. Uh, and we'll get back to that movie uh, a little bit later when we go to the complete uh, chronological order of both films so then you want to go to the new timeline and the new timeline would be very simple starts off with x-men first class uh, as well uh, both timelines like i said start with x-men first class uh, but the second film on that list would be x-men days of future past uh, this is the direct sequel to x-men first class uh, now i want you to remember this because when we do the the full chronological order of all the films, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past will be placed somewhere differently because it plays into both the original timeline and the newer timeline, but I feel it's more of a direct sequel to the newer timeline, which is why I didn't add it to the old timeline, if that makes sense. Uh, we then move on to X-Men uh, Apocalypse, which is the third film in that franchise starring uh, James McAvoy and... Uh, Michael Fassbender and Jennifer Lawrence and Nicholas Holt. Uh, we then go into X-Men Dark Phoenix. That would be the next one in the timeline. Uh, we then go into the present day with, because those films were, were taking place in the 60s, the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, the first present day film would be Deadpool. Deadpool is the film that takes place in the present day. The X-Men are already established. Uh, Colossus looks different. Uh, there you go. And uh, now Deadpool 2 would be next in chronological order, but I'm going to say this in both uh, this timeline on how to watch the chronological order and the complete one. I would save it for last because uh, there is a big spoiler for Logan uh, in in the beginning of this movie. So Deadpool 2, you might want to save as the last movie. And it's fine. It's like, think of Deadpool 2. He breaks the fourth wall anyways. So maybe you, as you continue going on after Deadpool uh, and you hold on Deadpool 2 for later, it's like he kind of acknowledges, hey, you finished the, the franchise. Here's one more. Uh, think of it as an epilogue or something, if you will. I don't know. Uh, Deadpool 2 and Logan are two films that are not bad to end off on anyways. Anyways, after Deadpool, before we get out of hand on this on movies that we shouldn't be watching yet, <laughs> then would come New Mutants, the movie that's out right now in theaters and hopefully one day on Blu-ray and DVD or VOD or however you decide to watch it in the future uh, because... There won't be any more Fox X-Men movies ever again, uh, as 
they get inserted into the MCU. Uh, yes, this is um, New Mutants takes place in the present time also, and it's a nice little. Uh, I, I believe there's a Logan, uh, if I remember correctly. I, I believe it's a Logan connection in the movie. Yes, there is a Logan connection in the movie. I'm remembering right now. Uh, so that's when you go into Logan right after uh, with Hugh Jackman uh, finishing off the franchise. And like I said, if you don't care about a, a big, big spoiler for Logan, then I would save Deadpool 2 for last but either way, it's it's your game. Deadpool 2 can come after the first Deadpool. But if you want to hold it off for spoilers, I would put it after uh, Logan. Um, now the complete timeline, okay? The complete timeline is pretty simple because we just kind of went through it. You start off with X-Men First Class. Then you go into X-Men Origins Wolverine. Then X-Men, the original film, uh, the 2000 film. Uh, X2, X-Men United, uh, X-Men, The Last Stand, The Wolverine, and then you add in the new timeline, X-Men Days of Future Past. And the reason why you put it after The Wolverine is because you think of it as an uh, end cap for the, original, uh, fr for the original timeline, and you're transitioning now into the new timeline. Uh, so... It it, it's kind of the ending of the original time. It's it is the ending of the original timeline, and it's the beginning of the new one. So now you continue on with the new timeline that we just talked about. Uh, after Days of Future Past, you watch Apocalypse, which takes place in the eighties. Uh, in the nineties, it's X Men Dark Phoenix. Then you get into the present day stuff with Deadpool. Hold off Deadpool two if you want. Uh, then New Mutants, and then of course Logan. Uh, so there you go. That's the the timeline of the X-Men franchise. I think I've made it pretty simple, hopefully. Uh, so with that being said, I hope this guy's I hope this list helps you. Uh, and hey, that's it guys. The X franchise is done. Now we know where New Mutants takes place uh, and how it it fits into the overall universe. And with that being said, I'm logging off. Until next time, take care.